Hey guys, my name is Ayo. I'm a home finance and lifestyle creator and I recently bought my own property in the Kent slash London area. Today I'm giving you my annual update of the best ways that you can save for deposit in 2022. So let's get straight into it. Now the first tip I would give, and this advice hasn't changed much from last year, is to make sure that you pay your debts first. And the reason why I say this is because at the moment, cash savings accounts are still not paying a great interest rate. However, if you do have a credit card or you have some sort of personal loan that may be paying high interest, it may be worth you looking into paying that off first. Now, just to give you an example of this, if you have a credit card with a £1,000 balance on it, and you are also having £1,000 in cash, is it worth you putting it into a savings account or to just pay off your credit card debt? Your credit card may be paying about 18% interest, that's exactly what you're being charged on it. Whereas the average cash savings account at the moment is paying about 1% interest. That means that your credit card is gonna charge you 180 pounds per year to have that 1,000 pounds on that credit card. Whereas if you look at the cash savings account, it's only gonna pay you about 10 pounds in the year and in comparison that's kind of grim so it might be worth you paying off your credit card first that way you're not being charged more than you would actually earn in a cash savings account i hope that makes sense but if you need a bit more clarification definitely let me know down in the comments below the second tip i would give to first-time buyers who are looking to save for a deposit in 2022 is to make sure you look into the lifetime isa now i've covered the lifetime isa quite a bit on my channel so i'm not going to go into too much detail here and i'll make sure to link those videos in the description box below but essentially if you're a first time buyer and you're looking to save for a deposit look into the lifetime ISA because you can get up to £1,000 for free every single year so if you are looking into saving for a deposit that is definitely paying better than any cash savings account at the moment so look into that and make sure you're maximising your savings in the lifetime ISA my third tip is although interest rates aren't great in the cash savings accounts arena it's always worth looking into them and getting the best one and then switching if you need to so so when it comes to cash savings accounts in general there's quite a few that you can look into for example there's the easy access cash savings accounts which don't seem to pay as great in interest rates but it does mean that you can withdraw your money at any time you can look into notice savings accounts which are the ones where you have to tell the bank before you want to withdraw money so that could be a three month or six month notice period that you have to give although they do pay quite good interest rates and if you are saving for a deposit then it might not be too much hassle to keep it in a notice savings account and the third one is regular savings accounts and those are ones where you have to pay a certain amount every month and those pay quite good interest rates um, but it does mean that you are bound to keep a certain amount being paid in there every single month and the fourth is actually current accounts so regular current accounts sometimes they're paying quite good interest per month and it might be worth opening a new version of that even if it's a introductory rate that they're giving at the moment it might be worth opening one with them and then when the introductory rate ends you can just switch when the time comes and that's the best way to get the most for your cash considering the interest rate arena at the moment so definitely look into those four different options of savings accounts and make sure that you just switch when the time comes because it's not worth keeping your money idle in a savings account that isn't paying you too much interest when you could easily just switch and get a better rate somewhere else now the fourth tip i would give when it comes to saving for your deposit in 2022 and again this advice hasn't changed much from last year but is to look into increasing your income the best way you can save more money is to earn more money ways you can earn more money is to perhaps get a side hustle or find ways of expanding things that you already enjoy but you could help do for someone else so it doesn't have to be this grand scale thing where you open up a business and look into how you can get profits from that but it could just be something quite simple where you look into things that you enjoy already like cooking or cleaning and maybe on a Saturday you can dedicate two or three hours to helping cook for someone else or to clean for someone else or to meal prep for those in your circle and the great way to do this is to try and look into people around you that might benefit from this service first and see how much they'll be able to contribute especially if you tell them that it's in a hope to you know save for your deposit would you benefit from me cooking for you on a Saturday or doing this or doing that look into that and you'd be surprised how many people around you may be willing to support you and your venture and like I said if you earn more money you're able to save more money and in those few hours you might 
might be able to put a bit more money towards your deposit in order to get you on the property ladder sooner. If you're looking to other ways and how you can prepare to buy your first house or even your second house or move, make sure you check out this video here where I talk about how you can prepare for your home purchase in the next one to five years. And then if you're looking for other ways that you can save for your deposit, make sure you check out these videos here because I give all the annual updates on the best ways to save for a house and they still apply till today. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.